Hi, this is Joel Mayer. Today, I am proposing a traditional project that will help young children to exercise their fine motor skills. The project is a Christmas stocking. You will find the patterns for the stocking itself and the fur trimming in the printable document. Start by printing the stocking on red construction paper. Take two sheets of red construction paper and cut along the outline of the stocking through the two layers of construction paper. Using a one-hole punch, punch holes all along the edge of the stocking through the two layers of construction paper. Do not make holes in the top of the stocking. Cut a piece of knitting yarn about 3 feet or a meter long. Wrap one end of the yarn with tape. When the end is wrapped in tape, it becomes much easier to pass the yarn through the holes. Pass the tip of the knitting yarn through the first hole and pull the thread until only one small piece of the yarn is left on the back of the stocking. Paste this small piece of yarn on the back of the stocking with tape. A first possibility is to thread the yarn up and down all along the edge of the stocking. This is a simple pattern that gives a nice result. When you are finished with the yarn, paste the end on the back of the stocking. A second possibility is to always pass the yarn upwards in a spiral movement. In this case, you will need a longer piece of yarn. As in the first case, start by passing the yarn through the first hole and paste the end on the back of the stocking. Then pass through the second hole from below and bring the yarn up again. Continue this spiral movement all along the stocking and paste the end of the yarn on the back of the stocking. A third possibility is to start as in the second example and then go back in the opposite direction. This gives an effect of crossing thread. I chose to use only one color but you could very well use two different colors. When you have threaded the yarn all along the stocking, glue a cutout that represents the fur on top of the stocking. There are three different patterns in the printable document. Print it directly on the white construction paper and cut out two layers. Glue them on either side of the top edge of the stocking. Be careful not to close the opening of the stocking with glue. You can keep the pieces together in place for a few minutes with clothespins. If you want to add a loop for hanging the stocking, take a piece of ribbon. Fold the ribbon in half and tie a knot. Slide the knot inside the opening of the stocking and glue it either with a glue gun for a quick result or with white glue and let dry. You can add this loop even after you place the white trim on top of the stocking. To personalize each stocking, take your best pen and write the child's name on the trim. Feel free to decorate the stocking with illustrations, buttons, sequins, beads, feathers. It's up to you to make your stocking unique. The stocking is now ready to be filled with little gifts. To print the illustrated instructions with the list of materials and the patterns, click on the link below the video.